the RTX 4070 Ti is going to have the same performance as the RTX 3090 Ti. Do you understand how significant that actually is? The 70 version of Nvidia's graphics cards have always been extremely affordable. The RTX 3090 Ti, this graphics card plays video games like Grand Theft Auto 5 in 8K at over 100 frames per second. Do you like, like I want you to think about this. A $500 graphics card or less. I don't need, we don't even know the price of these right now. Do you like 8K over 100 FPS? in a game like Grand Theft Auto 5. We're not talking about a game like Minecraft. We're not talking about a game like Fortnite, Hollow Knight, Super Mario World. On the Super Nintendo, using a Super Nintendo emulator. No, we are talking about games that actually require a lot of graphical power. However, now that I showed you my excitement, let's go ahead and read this article over on the videocards.com website with the article going over the 4070 Ti competing with the RTX 3090 Ti. The rumored specs of the RTX 4070 with 7,168 CUDA cores and 10 gigabytes of memory on a 160-bit bus may seem underwhelming to some GPU enthusiasts, but such configuration is already capable of competing with NVIDIA's high-end RTX 3090 GPU in 3D Mark, Time Spy, and at least that is according to the hardware leaker, Copy 7 Kimi. However, the limited bandwidth may still become a bottleneck in some instances. As it turns out, Nvidia is already preparing a full variant of AD104 GPU, featuring 7,680 cores and 12 gigabytes of memory across a 192-bit memory bus. Such configuration would allegedly provide matching performance to the RTX 3090 Ti, the flagship Ampere desktop GPU, which debuted in March this year. With a wider memory bus and faster memory, such a variant would have 40% higher memory bandwidth, 360 arrow pointing to 504 gigabytes than RTX 4070. I'm going to be honest, I really don't know what that what that is implying right there, but if, if you would like to tell me down in the comment section below, you can feel free to do so. So, Copite 7 Kimi, the man that is always leaking this stuff and quite frankly, is right about this kind of crap a lot of the time. And quote unquote, as I have mentioned before, there's an 8104SKU with a 400 watt limit, PG141SKU331, a full fat 8104 with 7680FP32. 21 gigabytes per second, 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X, it can easily match the RTX 3090 Ti. I just, like, I don't, like, I'm just, I'm so blown away that a man such as myself that just bought a, a laptop with a 3080 Ti and pissed away over $4,000, I just really want to slap myself in the face for doing that because I could have bought a laptop for $2,000, that is better. You know, this happened to me with my 2080 Ti in the gaming PC that I gave away to a subscriber. The same thing happened to me with the graphics card in that computer. I bought the 2080 Ti, and then the 30 series GPUs ended up coming out. And now I just did it again because I'm a moron, and I don't think to think about, oh, hey, new graphics card's coming out. I probably should buy a piece of shit and wait for the new graphics card to come out. However, let's continue. More cores and faster memory would come at a cost of higher power consumption. It is said that the PG141SKU331 power draw reaches 400 watts, so 100 watts higher than the RTX 4070's 300 watts. It's too early to put a name on this configuration, but if the RTX 3070 Ti with full GA104 GPU was any lesson for us, this should be the RTX 4070 Ti. Thus far, seven different RTX 40 slash ADA configurations were mentioned by Copite, 7 Kimi, and other leakers. This is the latest list with the updated specs. We're at a point in life right now where it's like impossible to go above and beyond where we are.
we're already like right now without the 40 series graphics cards we're already in 8k over 100 fps territory where like people like me are super excited because guess what this like 3080 ti this takes like for a 10 minute video this takes like five minutes to render i'm so excited to be able to render a goddamn video in like two seconds in 4k wow nvidia so the titan ada rtx 18,176. rtx 4090 ti cuda cores again 17,920 4090 16,384 4080 10,240 4070 ti 7,680 4070 7,168 and then the 4060 nothing has been announced on this memory <laughs> what titan 48 gigabytes hello that's a lot of memory dude 4090 ti 24 gigabytes 24 gigabytes for the 4090 16 gigabytes for the 4080 and then 12 gigabytes for the 4070 ti <laughs> however that's more than enough i'm not like doing i'm not do doing those for serious reasons but like compared to 48 gigabytes that's like four times the amount however the titan's probably gonna be like four times the amount of money as well so just saying 600 watts for the 4090 ti and titan wow that's gonna be a warm graphics card this razor laptop gets very hot uncomfortably hot almost as if it's overheating but it's not overheating because the actual temperatures on the laptop like if i go to my nvidia geforce overlay and i go to like performance and i look at the temperature of my graphics card in idle or when i'm using obs or something it's literally like i'm just barely realized i don't have this plugged in I really hope that this video is not going to be corrupted because I am recording at 4K. Oh, I'm going to be so pissed off at you, laptop. I'm using battery for those of you that aren't aware. I don't have it plugged in. So, I really hope that I didn't just fuck myself and have to re restart this video. So, I'm just saying, that's a warm graphics card. 450 watts for the 4090. 420 watts for the 4080. Tell me that is not the most epic wattage power for a graphics card. 420 watts for the 4080. That means blaze. That, oh my god. Please EVGA or Asus or Gigabyte, whoever. Please, please make one of your 4080 overclocked cards called blaze. If it's going to have 420 watts worth of power supply going to it please do that for me i would be just so grateful for you i would literally buy your graphics card just because of that so 4070 ti 400 watts and then the 4070 300 watts so all of those are going to be like power hungry motherfuckers i'm super pumped and i'm super excited for this this is freaking awesome news bro like 4070 ti competing with a $1,600 3090 ti do you understand the significance of that big bloom out of my head hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to leave a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already check out one of these videos that are on screen and we'll catch you guys in the next one peace